I'm Doug Inkley, the National Wildlife Federation Senior Scientist. I work for the Federation to address the issue of climate change and how it impacts wildlife that we care so much about. I'm very fortunate in that what I'm able to do is sometimes go out in the wild, and I've seen more than 40 wild polar bears. I've seen them in Hudson Bay, Canada, and I've also seen them in Norway. They are a magnificent creature to see in the wild. I hope you get to do that. But today, they're facing threats, and I'd like to talk to you about that. You know, most people don't think of bears as animals that live in the ocean, but the polar bear is actually a marine mammal. So what's happening with global warming is as the sea ice is melting, the polar bear habitat is just plain disappearing. But what's so important about the sea ice for polar bears? Polar bears feed almost entirely on seals. And the seals come up out of the water into the breathing holes that are formed in the ice. And it is there that the polar bears are able to capture the seals. In open water without ice, a polar bear is not able to capture a seal. So without sea ice, there's no way to feed and then there's no polar bears. In this video I took of the polar bears up in Churchill, Manitoba, you can see that the bears are on land. That's because the ice hasn't frozen yet. Right now, it's late October, early November. Basically what they're doing now, and they've done since June, is they're fasting. They're waiting for that opportunity to hunt again. The current population of polar bears is estimated by scientists to be somewhere between 20 and 25,000 animals. However, with what's happening with the melting of their ice due to climate change, the projections suggest that two-thirds of that population could disappear by the year 2050. As you know, polar bears are absolutely dependent upon sea ice. Every year, a lot more sea ice forms in the wintertime and then some of it melts in the summertime. At the end of the summer, the amount of summer sea ice that's left is very important. Unfortunately, what's been happening in recent years is that the summer sea ice at the end of the summer melt season has been declining dramatically. In fact, in 2005, there was a record low and we busted that record by another 25% lower in the year 2007. So we've had a dramatic decline in the sea ice. In fact, that decline in the sea ice this year was equivalent to the area of Texas and Alaska combined. Scientists have spent a lot of time developing sophisticated models to track the amount of sea ice which exists in the Arctic region. Because of global warming, they've projected that perhaps the summer sea ice could decline or disappear completely by the year 2040. As a result of the huge melt that occurred in the year 2007, some scientists suggest that perhaps all of the summer sea ice could disappear as early as 2012. Now the disappearance of its icy habitat is a huge challenge, but with Endangered Species Act protections, we can work to ensure that other things that impact polar bears, such as oil and gas development, are set aside so that the polar bears have a better chance of surviving. Global warming is melting the polar bears' habitat. The National Wildlife Federation supports listing the species as a threatened species. This way we can help ensure that for the future our children will have polar bears to see just as I've been lucky to see them in my time here at the National Wildlife Federation.